seems like they're taking away a lot of our infrastructure. And I, I use this road frequently. This connection will connect all the way from northeast Killingsworth all the way to southeast Laville. And so it's really important as we're sort of changing our city and making it more bikeable. A new path for cyclists shaking things up in one northeast Portland community. Some people tell K2 a new greenway intended to encourage people to bike may have other negative impacts on the community. But cycling advocates and the Portland Bureau of Transportation say this will make cycling more accessible and it's good for the environment. The greenway is set to come into northeast 72nd Avenue through Rose City Park and will shut down the northbound lane to cars. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us for K2 News at 11 o'clock. I'm Deborah Knapp. K2's Thunvi Varma is live from 72nd Street where the Greenway is coming. So how will this Greenway work? Yeah, Deb, so I'm standing right in front of the Rhodes Rose City Gulf, and right here is where the Greenway is set to come in. As you can see, it's already marked off. This lane is going northbound and will be car free. Now, cyclists say this is a big win for the environment, but people who live in this neighborhood are worried that it's going to cause more traffic congestion. Terry Parker has lived here for almost his whole life. And this road by the Rose City Golf Course has seen him through it. I've used this road as a, as a kid. I'd, I've rode my bike on it. Now I use it to get up to the Sandy Boulevard. But soon a greenway will prevent him and every other motor vehicle from going northbound. Parker says he's concerned about negative impacts it could have on the neighborhood. People are going to have to go around the golf course, cut through more residential areas, uh, or go down to 82nd, which is already somewhat congested. And they'll be going into school zones. A 2019 Portland Bureau of Transportation report shows that about 1,200 cars come in northbound. You're adding vehicle miles traveled to go around the golf course. And the more miles that you put on your car, uh, the more fuel you're using and the more emissions you're creating. But some cyclists think this is a great location because the next best bikeways are too far out. So you have to either choose between 50th or 80th. And so this is kind of will make it uh, biking uh, accessible and more convenient for a lot more people. We don't have a lot of connections that are north to south and south to north. And so those connections are really important. PBOT Public Information Officer Dylan Rivera says the project will be good for the environment, even if there aren't a ton of bikers out in the area right now. The experience of Portland and other cities over decades has shown that when we make our facilities more safe and comfortable for people biking and walking, they show up in droves. We feel like that inconvenience is a small price to pay for a big win for neighborhood livability. Rivera says they'll be looking closely at what impacts this project has on the community. Live in Portland, Thunvi Verma, KC News.